This is CJ Hook's Jolly Roger. The reference for this ship is Captain Hook's iconic Jolly Roger pirate ship. This is a progress update video more than anything else. It does not look much, but I wanted to show you where things are right now. For this video, I wanted to thicken the ship's walls, so I glued another layer of stir sticks. I wanted the walls to look like they are made with planks of wood, so I cut out little pieces of stir sticks and individually glued all of those pieces to cover the entire side walls. It took a lot more time than it looks, especially because the walls are curved, so I had to make the planks small enough to be able to handle the curves. After I glued the wood planks, I waited until the glue is dried, and then I sandpapered the walls until they are smooth. I did not want any wood planks sticking out in random places. I also put five thin horizontal lines that are protruding out slightly. They are like borders between different wall colors. I glued the little pieces of stir sticks horizontally and then shaved them down using a knife until they looked smooth and also about the right extrusion. Anyway, cutting down all of the little pieces of stir sticks, gluing them down, waiting for them to dry, and then sanding them down. The work took many days even though it doesn't look much. Sometimes a little bit of work look like a lot is done, sometimes it is a lot of work but it doesn't add too much to the appearance. There are 7 cannon windows on Jolly Roger on each side, so I cut out 7 squares on each wall. I also cut out square panels for the windows. I covered them up with stir sticks so they look like they are made with wood. The windows are going to be hooked up to strings in such a way that when I pull the string all of these windows will open up and cannons inside will move out of the windows. Anyway, I will do that when I make the cannons. For now, I temporarily secured the windows with sticky backings. Next, I painted the ship's side walls. There are three blue stripes and two red stripes and one brown stripe. I mixed some acrylic paint with some clear acrylic medium. I was hoping to keep the wooden plank texture intact. I did not want the acrylic paint to cover up the wooden texture completely. I think the painting came out alright. I can still see the wooden planks, but the painting came out looking a little too flat. I think I will sand the paper the walls lightly and try putting on another coat of paint after the current paint is dried. It still looks too much like a paper boat than a pirate ship, but I think it will look better with more decorations. I think the cannon windows came out looking a little bit too large. We we'll still need to add window trims, so maybe it will look better after. Maybe I should add a little more texture or decorations to the windows. In the next video, I'm going to work on the top floors. We need to add some rails, windows, doors, staircases, and then maybe we can work on the mast and the ropes. I want to make sure the floors and walls are done because reaching them after the ropes are installed would be very difficult. Hopefully the ship will turn out looking better as we add more, but even if it doesn't, we'll have a stand-in for CJ's ship now. I think that is still better than an image cutout.